Hello, so in this video, I'm going to show you how to use the 3D Studio Max Viewport Canvas tool, which is a really great little simple 2D paint tool. Um, so you can paint directly inside of uh, 3D Studio Max with um, with your mouse. Um, and so I'm just gonna show you. Um, so first thing you need to do is uh, grab a model. So let's, let's add, what's this one? Oh, here we go, exciting model like that. And then I'm going to paint on this. So we need to make sure that it's got UV. So I'm going to go into the modify list and just type in uh, unwrap UVW. And that'll show you if I open the UV editor here, it'll show me what my image is. Oh, that's not very good, is it? So let's just go and uh, flatten the mapping. So um, hit OK. There we are. So now you've got uh, your lovely UV. If I click on one of these, you'll see them around the model like that. Beautiful. OK. So we've got UVs, and we've got a piece of geometry, and next we need to have a material. So we're going to material slate. I'm going to go and add right mouse button, general uh, PBR, and that. I'm going to add, we've got an option here. You don't have to, but if you want to, <laughs> basically it'll add, once you go into viewport paint, Canvas. it'll create a texture that you can, and it'll plug it into whichever map slot that you want. But in this case, I'm just going to drag this noodle out and then add a bitmap and then pick my bitmap. So I've just got a very simple white blank canvas on this material and I'm going to assign this material onto that object. And then if you don't see the material, uh, the actual bitmap, on here it's in display so if you go to display and you've got material color on or if you've got the object color on for the shaded so there we are and then i'm in uh, the basic standard default shading model um viewport display canvas thing all right so now say i've got this model and i'm like where is this bit here because i want to go into new or photoshop and put a picture on here or something like that so um what i would do is go into the tools menu and then in under viewport canvas. So click on that. And now it is basically going to paint on the, the image that I choose. So you have to click on the paintbrush and then it'll ask you which map do I want to paint on? So it'll look at the material and it'll say, you've got all these different slots. Uh, at the moment, uh, there's nothing here, but if I chose a different slot, it would say, do you want to build, do you want to make a texture? Nothing exists. But for now, I'm just going to go to the base color map and use the one that I, I put here. So I'm going to click on that. And now when I paint in here, so just click and paint like that, then it's actually painted on, on that model. So I'm going to, let's paint another color. Let's grab my little swatch. So let's have a little red around here. Oh, look at that. Beautiful. And then another one. So like that. And I go, oh, that's great. So I need to know that was there and this is here, whatever it is. And then once I press paint again, it'll actually write that image over my original. So don't do this on your family photos or anything like that. So it, it is destructive. So uh, make sure you make a copy of anything important. Okay, so now it's actually painted on that image. And if I click on the bitmap and then go under, um, double click on that. Oh no, hang on, <laughs> don't double click on it. Where is it? View image, sorry. Um, view image, that is my beautiful artwork on the UVs and everything like that. So then like I would go, oh look, and then I could bring this into whatever my paint, um, my paint packet is or buzzling software, but it gives you a really great idea of where things are. And um, it's really handy. So it's just a quick way of not having to leave the software to find out where things are. And then you've got all your sort of standard paint tools and things. And there's clone brush and, and a fill and all those sort of things. What it's really useful for as well is if you're doing like cloth physics or something and you need to do a grad and you don't want to have to go out into something like Substance Painter or something like that to paint it, um, you could then uh, use the grad tool. So if I grab the grad one like that and let's make that black uh, and then drag up like that and then you've got a nice gradated um thing <laughs> so uh yeah it's uh, a plethora of things that you can do with it um one other thing is if you want to change the layer so as soon as i press the button again as soon as i unactivate it it'll update the image so it saves it and then you're done
Okay, now if I go into this again, view image, wherever you are, come on. Uh, so you can see there now, look at those beautiful diamonds. Okay, um, oh yeah, I was going to show you the options menu. So at the moment it's painting on the base color map and say I want, I'm done with the base color now and I want to paint on my mission. So I want to do some little lights or something. So I change this map to my mission and then it'll say, oh, you haven't got a texture map. Do you want to make one? And then you say yes and you'll give it a size and then you save the texture to somewhere other. Um, blah, 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 blah. Where is it putting it? Oh, it's putting the same bitmap place. So let's call this one uh, emissive. Uh, yeah. Okay, so now when I go into uh, hit OK, so now, oh, you can see there that it actually added that little map directly into the material. And then uh, if I go and paint here now, oops, oh, sorry, I have to select a brush. Uh, th there we go. So marvelous. Brilliant. So hopefully that was helpful. And if it was helpful, please like and subscribe because that way I'll know that I should make more videos. Um, great. Thank you. All right. Bye.